um, yeah, um, yeah. All right, so beautiful, beautiful um, news, Ip. And uh, we want to elaborate a little bit more on the fall of America because he read, but well, anyway, he read in Revelation 18. Who read that? Revelation 18, 1 and 2, that Babylon is falling. The way the Most High does things, he, he don't do it instantaneously. He don't do it right away. Just the way the Roman Empire fell through the infrastructure, through the economy, that's how he gonna do it in these times. All right, he gonna destroy America, the economy first before that full blow, which is the ICPMs. And we got an article on Detroit, man, how Detroit owes $14 billion, and brother here is gonna read it. All right, and you got, yeah, brother still locked and low. Yeah, got something. All right. the, the title is Detroit's bankruptcy follows decades of decay. And Detroit was a man. Everybody was going to on to, on to Detroit. Motown was in Detroit. Chrysler Ford was in Detroit. Detroit, Detroit in the uh, uh, in the early fifties, all the way to what to the to the seventies or eighties, right or nineties. It, it, it was it was booming. Until the until that mortgage um, the mortgage um, bubble collapsed until they collapsed um, through that mortgage through that mortgage bubble. Go ahead, Ash. The city of Detroit, which for years paid the bill paid its bills uh -huh. with borrowed money, is the largest city in the U.S. history to file for bankruptcy protection. Mm -hmm. Here's a look how the city spiral into financial ruin and why it is in so much trouble. What happened? For decades, Detroit paid its bills by borrowing money while struggling to provide the most basic of services for its residents. The city which was about to, to default on a good chunk uh -huh. of US 14 billion plus debt. Uh -huh. Now we'll get a second. How much are? 14 billion plus debt. Man, 14 billion plus debt. That's just the, uh, the state of Detroit. The state of Detroit owes 14 billion dollars in debt. That's right, 14 billion dollars in debt. That's how much Detroit owes. And, and it's gonna trigger to the other states also. It's gonna trigger to the other states. America's gonna be desolate, man. They show you that movie, I Am Legend. When they had um, um, lions and, and what was that, lions and bears running. It's gonna be desolate, man. America is taking, uh, most of taking America slowly, man, but for surely, man. And it's happening on more faster in these last days. Got a word bankruptcy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, got it. Bankruptcy. So we're going to look up the word bankrupt bankruptcy. Got it. State of being bankrupt. A state of being what? Bankrupt. Yeah, go ahead. Complete failure. Complete what? Failure. So Detroit is a complete failure. Ruin. It's what? Ruin. It's ruin. Oh, I just put it up the side. Uh -huh. Which means what? Broken. Broken, man. It's from a Latin word called what? Uh -huh. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. It means what? Um, a person illegally declared unable to pay his or her debt. Uh huh. The property of a bankrupt is administered for the benefit of his or her creditors. That's right. So that's why they're going to bring austerity measure in America, just like the way Greece, Spain, um, France, Ireland. Give me the word austerity. Yeah, let's see what that word means. And that's why they're going to pass in law, as he was reading, that there ain't going to be no more delivery to your mailbox no more. You got to take your own wrinkled white ass to the post office to get your mail. Yes, old lady. Wicked bastards! I can't stand these songs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah what you, um, austerity it means got? the quality of being austere. Austerity means what? The quality of being austere. Yeah, come on. Tighten an economy. Uh huh. A tighten what? Economy. A tighten economy, man. Listen, it says from the Latin austeros. Uh huh. Which means harsh. Which means what? Harsh. harsh. Try. That's why a lot of people is losing their jobs in America. That's why Obama is getting rid of the middle class and only the poor and the rich. It's getting bad. It's getting worse, man. Don't be deceived, man. It's not getting no better. All right, to water.
Uh -huh. Of coming movie called Asylum or Asylum. Uh -huh. And there's a plan of only rich class people and everything perfect as well. Yeah, and if you, everybody has poor and suffering down below and on planet Earth. Back to the, back to the um, article. The city which was about to be fall at a good chunk it, of its US 14 billion plus debt now will get a second chance in a federal bankruptcy court led re re restructuring. Detroit's budget deficit this year alone is estimated to a US to 380 million. And the, and How much? Huh? 380 million. Yeah, they owe 380 million for that for that year or for that month? For that year. Yeah, for that year. For this year. Yeah, for this year. 380 million for this year. So that 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 that, that debt is piling up. Just like uh, just like America, they owe what? Close to 17 trillion dollars, man. Close to 17. Close to 17. Close to 17 trillion dollars. Go ahead. It's a state-appointed emergency ma manager choose, chose bankruptcy over diverting money from police, fire, and other services. So they diverted what? I? They, they diverted the money to, and they chose. Sorry, they chose bankruptcy over diverting the money from police, uh -huh. fire, and other services to make debt payments. So what they doing is taking the um, the fireman pension, the policeman pension. The city work pension, they taking it, they stripping them and no, robbing them. No, they, they choose bankruptcy yeah. over doing that. Yeah, but it's another article. Right. It's another article that I had read. They they, they taking their pension, they dipping into their funds, man. They dipping into their pay. Okay, go ahead, huh? The move conserves fresh so that the city can operate, but it will hurt Detroit's image for years. Yeah, beautiful, go ahead. It also leaves creditors with pennies on the dollar and places in jeopardy the pension benefits the pension benefits of thousands of city retirees there you go the what act huh? it takes away the pension benefits of thousands the pension the pension benefits of, of the retiree retiree so if you retire and you serve the uh you serve the police station, uh, the police department and a fire department and you're expecting this money to come every month and you realize you're not receiving checks because detroit went into your account and took your money away, man. Or the pension that you was receiving every month is, is cut in half. So when we say America is falling, America is falling because the Bible says so. America is falling, man. You yeah, go ahead, huh? Why did it happen? It took decades of decay to bring down the once mighty industrial giant uh -huh. that put the world on wheels. Put the world on what? Wheels. Yeah, put the world on wheels, come on. The city grew to 1.8 million people in the 1950s, luring them to plentiful jobs that paid good wages to stop Yeah, because everybody was going to Detroit, man. That's where the money was at. Because work, to work at Ford, um, Ford plant that make um, Ford cars, it was paying them about 25, $25 an hour. Shit, if you get $25 an hour in the United States, man, you're doing good. But all those jobs is vanished. Those jobs is vanished in Detroit, man. They got plants that's vacant, man. That's grass is growing, growing inside these plants, man. America is finished, man. America is done. And guess what? It's gonna affect this island too. It's gonna affect this island. It's gonna affect Jamaica. It's gonna affect the whole world, man. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Right, learn. Luring them with the full jobs that pay good wages to stamp out automobiles for sale across the globe. Uh -huh. But like many American cities, Detroit's fall began late, began late than the, than the decade as developers starting building suburbs then came into the 1967 riots that accelerated the number of white residents who moved to cities north of 8 miles. Uh, right? So, yes, you yeah. take a little break? Where you gonna switch it for me? This is 2nd Ezra 15 verse 12. Egypt shall mourn. Egypt shall what? Egypt shall mourn. The most I said, Egypt shall mourn. A lot of people is mourning in America, man. Egypt shall what? Egypt shall mourn. Read on. 
and the foundation of it shall be smitten uh -huh. with the plague. It's going to be smitten with what? With the plague. With that plague. Come on. And the punishment of Yahweh uh -huh. shall bring upon it. Isn't that a punishment of the Most High? Yes, it is. Detroit right. is desolate. That's right. Isn't it a punishment of the Most High where uh, a lot of people is on the unemployment line? Right. right. Isn't the, that's a punishment of the Most High when when he's getting rid of the middle class? That's right. That's the punishment. That's the plagues of the Most High, man. That's the punishment of the Heavenly Father, man. And we happy. We rejoicing, man. That's right. Go ahead, huh? Um, sec uh, um, yes, sir. Second Dan, um, Daniel oh, chapter. Go, go, go. Hold on. They that still the ground shall mourn. And those that what up? Still the ground uh -huh. shall mourn. Yeah, those are the workers. Those are the workers of the United States that tilt in the ground, man. Shall what? They shall mourn. They shall mourn, man. A lot of people in transit is losing their job. The one that operates the train, they losing their job. The, the, the bus authority, they losing their job, man. Huh? It's getting worse, man. It's getting worse. It's getting bad, man. Huh? Why y'all niggas trying to make an album in these damn last days? <laughs> Shit, 50 Cent ain't making no money on, on music. 50, 50 Cent making money by sucking dick. <laughs> Like, uh, sucking on, sucking um, second on uh, top celebrity penis, man. That's how he making his money. And he making money through cologne and and, um, and liquor. That's why a lot of these rappers is making um, um, liquor drinks. Yep. Because they're not making money in the music industry, man. The music is done. Right. Music is finished, man. A lot of them are into acting. Right. Huh? A lot of them are into um, being actors now and actresses because. Yeah. You know, everything being downloaded now on the internet so they making no money yeah. on music anymore. That's what they, that's right, Bridget was saying. That's why they were going to to, to act it. Like Rihanna, she had, she got a job at uh, uh, the battleship. Shit, 50 Cent is, is acting now. Die trying, making making movies like Die Trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh who else? L Cool J. He worked for um, NCIS. He's a detective. Ludacris and all the Ludacris is um Fast and Furious. There ain't no money, no music no more. You said everybody's downloading music. Let me, get, let me tell you one thing. The movie industry is not really making money. That's right. <laughs> People downloading mo movies, movies, man. Yeah. You go to awesomefilmsite.org, awesome man. It's a, it's a lot of them, man. Ain't nobody sitting in the movie theater, man. Unless it's a bad blockbusters that brothers would go and check that out. If it's a, bl a bad blockbuster, that's a, right, let's go to the movies and check this out. This is, this works big screen. <laughs> Snoop Dogg, he turns to sleep Yeah, Snoop Dogg. Yeah, he's going to Jamaica to smoke out of the weed now. Yeah, yeah. 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 And Snoop Dogg went to Jamaica to stretch his money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because his money really is not enough in the United States. That's right. Nope. You know, uh, I think in Jamaica, if you take a dollar in Jamaica, that's $18 in Jamaican money, man. Right now, right now. Right right he played what? Cartoon oh, yeah, yeah. Now, now he's now he, um, uh, making his cartoon come out um, turbo with the snail. Yeah. So, I mean, all these rappers is acting. Queen Latifah, that nasty lesbian. Yeah, I, th I think she made this movie on, called Taxi. Yeah. There was some movie called Taxi. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, huh? <laughs> I'm going to read verse 14. Give me Ecclesiastes 12. Oh, not two. Go ahead. Whoa. Woe to the world, uh -huh. and them that dwell therein. Yeah, woe to the world that dwells in, in, in them, man. It's, it's getting worse, man. It's getting bad, man. It's getting bad. And we are happy. Yes. That's right. That's we right. are happy. That, that niggas gonna lose your pension too on this island. That's right. It's just a matter of time. Enjoy your shake. Hey, you know. I know money to give them young girls. Yeah. Cause they, they, they complain on this island. They get about 3000 every month. <laughs> and who get my paycheck? It's the yeah. first of the month. A long life out here in Trinidad in the banks. No money for them nigga, bitch. <laughs> when they go one day, ain't gonna be no money in their account. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Daniel chapter 2 was 44. 44. Yeah, go ahead. And in the days of these kings, shall the shall the Yahweh of heaven set up a kingdom give me an article up my bro right. which shall never be destroyed shall never be what destroyed mm -hmm. and the kingdom shall not be left to other people uh-huh that's right that's the kingdom we're looking for that's right a kingdom that's not going to be destroyed 
a, right. king, a king that's not going to vote for democracy or Republican. That's a, right. A kingdom that's not going to vote for UFC, ILP, or COP, or PNM. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> enough of that nonsense. That nonsense politics, man. We waiting for one governor, and that's going to be Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. That's the government we're looking for. That's right. And we can read that in the scripture. But it shall break in pieces. It shall what? Break in pieces. Come on. And consume all these kingdoms. And it shall stand forever. It shall what? Uh? It shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. And they're going to what? Consume all these they're kingdoms. Consume all these kingdoms, man. ILP, UNC, yeah. consume every one of them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, let's wrap up this. Yeah, go ahead. And it shall stand forever. Verse 45. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain uh -huh. without hand, and that it break in pieces the iron, uh -huh. the brass, uh -huh. the clay, uh -huh. the silver, and the gold. Yeah, that's all these kingdoms, man. Yahweh Bashim is going to break all these kingdoms, man. According to Revelation 19, I believe starting at verse 11, man. That's right. The great Yahweh had made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter, and uh -huh. the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof is sure. That is sure, ah, uh, beautiful. You got some